Alrighty, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, uh, flea market, then we're doing some yard sales. Got a busy day ahead of us, so let's try and make it, try and make it go on, try and find some treasure. What do you say? Let's do it. All right. Whole collection of goodies for a dollar. Grab that from the fill a, fill a bag guy. stumbled upon a yard sale that was at last week and actually brought out some new stuff um so we're going to see i'm going to grab the uh, namco i don't know if that's uh is that a game it says dead to rights in the back i think that's a game company this is dave matthews band Lot of shirts. There's a lot of uh, Penn Argyle wrestling and Penn Argyle track, which is local high school, like vintage stuff. But I don't know anyone who went to that high school who likes vintage apparel. That makes sense. Like I know people went to Easton and Phillipsburg and other schools around here, but Penn Argyle, I don't know many people. Like, see, here's a Penn Argyle football shirt, made in USA, probably mid 2000s, early 2000s. That's cool. 84 Lumber. That's local. That was... It's a cool shirt. It's all... I can see it's all stained. as white out on the side or paint. I'll probably go through this, put you guys down, see if I find any more so far. We got two t-shirts. Alright, so I ended up grabbing the games. One's called a six pack, the other one's Toy Story. Uh, did pick up five shirts here as well. There's actually some Harley shirts in there, as included with the Dave Matthews. They're not vintage Harley, I think they're mid 2000s. And a lot of wire for free. Alright, day two of picking. I'm going to combine a couple days here because I went to the flea market yesterday, which was the first half of this video. I only found, I think, one item or so, or one bag of stuff, so make it day two. All in one video. Fog as usual. Good old Mark showed up.
money, like. see what he charges me for all this how oh, oh, this whole thing this is what I come up with so we will see Good morning to myself, I guess. Wow. So I'm at this yard sale. I saw this address had to be six or seven times in the paper, on Craigslist, throughout the entire summer. I come over here, she says, oh, it's our third sale. Um, it's our third sale, and this is a three-day sale, so I mean, this is probably done like the eighth or the seventh or eighth day of sales but I scored absolutely huge here you do have some filler hats but all these shirts are all car show shirts from the mid 80s upwards to 2001 this one's 97 there are some really, really cool graphics on some of these shirts. This one, 1994, Mukunji. What do you got here? This one's got some staining on it. This one's out Mukunji. This is, looks like it'd be an 80s. No, 93. There are some awesome t-shirts here. Um, three bins of it. <laughs> Like, she was like, oh, 50 cents each. I asked her how much she wanted for all of it. I had no idea what she said. She said, just give me 20 bucks. Well, they're a hot rod sweatshirt. This one's a newer one. This probably got 2005-ish. It's actually 98. This one looks old. This one's 1985. Pocono Bobtail 500, 1985. I don't think there's going to be a... This is 2006. These are all over the place. So just a little bit of inventorying with the shirt collection. Three bins. Uh, surprisingly, they weren't all closed. Those are the only clothes I'm actually donating out of everything. Uh, you got some socks, fire department sweatshirts, a pair of jeans in here, a random, like, a woman shirt. I don't even know what that is. Uh, these are all, like, late 90s tees. Graphics on them isn't too crazy. Um, here's a bunch of stuff, probably good for the flea market. This one's actually an Eastern Pennsylvania uh, laundry bag. I bet it's from the mid-90s. Uh, but nothing too 
too spectacular here. 2003, a lot of mid-2000 shirts there. Kind of the premium shirts are up here. Uh, these are all going to be kept. I'm not going to be selling them. You got some older Johnny's Drive-In, 1986 Hershey. This is local Wind Gap, uh, Wind Gap shirt. This one's really old, I think. Yeah, it's 1986. Not really that old, but awesome graphic. Some overall really cool shirts. This one's really thin. It's a 1986 tee. Got an Easton High School shirt. This one's Pocono Bobtail, 1985. That one's just is what it is. Uh, 1988. Love the graphics on this one. It's a Hershey one. Another 98 Hershey. Some Ford tees. There were a bunch of these in there. It seemed to be like this is one thing the guy kept on going to his Ford event. It's 92. I saw a lot of them. This is probably my favorite shirt. Lots of cool ones. So I'm keeping a bunch. It's not that I'm keeping them because whatever. It's more because they're just really cool. Um, and then the other ones I'm willing to part with just because they're just really, you know, too big for me. And someone else out there who might be local might really love them. And I'd rather someone else who loves them enjoy them. So I try to find someone to outlet some of these shirts. They don't really worth, they're not really worth that much on eBay, you know, uh, Car show shirts, 10 to 20 bucks each. So, really cool. All right. So, this is what I grabbed uh, both days of picking, or what, three days of picking. I decided to put it all into one video. Um, so, we got a bunch of stuff, a lot of cool things. Uh, yeah, some of the stuff. So, this all right down here, except for the white shirt, was 25 cents each. I didn't really go through it or look at it. As I can see now, it does have some damage. Uh, but this I paid a dollar for. I got this from Mark. Uh, he does a lot of the storage units. This is kind of a cool like crop top tee. I wonder if crop tops will ever come back. This one's from 1987. Uh, awesome graphic. I wish they made shirts like this today. It's very, very thin, but the graphic alone is... It's a large graphic, very colorful. Doing silk screening, this would cost a fortune because you have so many colors going on. Uh, did grab some Harley shirts for a quarter each at that yard sale. I didn't see these last week, but we have one from Delaware. This is the back graphic. Uh, this is an independent truck company. I think they are, uh, they make like skateboard trunks. I'm right. Uh, I remember Jay from the thrift store when we were at Goodwill Bins, he, uh, he found one of these kind of shirts. So, uh, he picked it up. I think he did sell it. So I decided to grab that one. This is a Dave Matthews band shirt. Graphic is the same on the back. There's no date. But you can see where it's been sun-stained or sun-bleached. Yeah, that shows up on camera. That's from being folded. And it just bleached like that from the sun. So it was probably folded for quite some time. Don't have an idea on a date on it. I'm going to say early 2000s. That's my guess. This is the back of that Namco shirt. I did a little bit of comps on it. it sells for around 40 bucks. There are some listed for 50 but it does have a monster hole right there. So that's that. Uh, I mean, I still expect to get at least 20 for it. One more Harley T to boot. This one's out of, I think, Missouri. It's a cool graphic on the front. We have one cowboy hat that I picked up this morning, still with tags. It is a strap back. Grab two Genesis games. Got Toy Story, and this one's called Six Pack. As well as I grabbed this. This came with the California Raisins. Uh, Steampunk ish. This, I believe, is for your oil tank. If I'm not mistaken this determines uh, maybe your pressure on your oil tank it's a little hunk of brass but whenever you find these gauges on anything it seems to be worth a little bit of money like something like this probably new is like 135 bucks I don't know what it's worth used in brass alone it's worth five dollars but i don't intend to scrap it if anything i'll just take off the gauge and sell that kind of like as a steampunk thing and all this stuff over here was fill a bag for a dollar get a little pineapple tray on your silver plate i've had a bunch of these seashells they've actually been solid brass these are really cool though textured on the back uh matching pair i just thought that guy was cool uh these were all marked different prices but it was still in the fill a bag sale uh, so they're about $2 each. 
this is actually a really cool pitcher kind of looking thing gives me a whole uh, flower vase vibe that was originally three dollars and then we have a little bowl over there uh, the one thing that's really nice about that so like I said this is a couple days of picking uh, I grabbed that stuff yesterday I went back today and there were things that were on the table that he had that he now threw into the fill a bag uh, sales so he does move his inventory quite often it seems like he only saves it for like one or two weeks uh, and then it goes into the fill a bag day or one or two times that he shows up there so stay tuned for that there's always a lot of good deals to be had there as you see two dollars and two dollars and that was mark three fill a bag for a dollar so you do save a little bit of money uh, I don't know what I'll end up doing that, but doing with that. But overall, another fun day. Obviously, the big score was definitely the uh, the t-shirts for 20 bucks. All three bins. There were some blankets in there, but the blankets I looked them up online. There are also some vintage blankets from like the 30s and 40s. Some do have a little bit of moth holes in them, but they're selling between 30 to 50 dollars a piece. I think even with the small moth holes, they'll do all right. So uh, overall. So overall, a very, very fun day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another fun treasure hunt. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. I'll catch you guys next time for the next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.